Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. The limit of the sequence 1 over n as n approaches infinity is equal to 0. Now really, the sequence we're referring to here is 1, 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth, and so on and so forth. But what does this mean? Well, by definition of the limit of a sequence, it means that for every epsilon greater than 0, there exists a positive integer k, such that for all positive integers n greater than or equal to k, the absolute value of 1 over n minus 0 is less than epsilon. So to prove this, we're going to prove this. Now, it turns out it's going to be useful if we rely on the following preliminary result. Given any positive real number x, there exists a positive integer m such that 1 over m is less than x. Right, so we're going to use this result in the proof of this theorem. Okay, but before we get into the proof, let's start out with some scratch work. Now, what we're ultimately going to end up showing is that the absolute value of 1 over n minus 0 is less than epsilon, where epsilon is an arbitrary positive real number and n is an arbitrary positive integer greater than or equal to some positive integer k. So let me start out by writing this. Now, since n is a positive integer, of course, this is just equal to 1 over n. But since n is greater than or equal to k, and n and k are both positive, it follows if we take the reciprocal of both sides of this inequality, we have that 1 over n is less than or equal to 1 over k. Now remember, we ultimately want to show that this thing is less than epsilon. Well, we could ask ourselves, where are we going to get k from? Well, we could obtain k by using this lemma, right? If we take our positive real number x here to be epsilon, well, yeah, there exists a positive integer m such that 1 over m is less than epsilon. And so we could take m to be k, which means 1 over k is less than epsilon. So we have that the absolute value of 1 over n minus 0 is less than epsilon, which is what we ultimately want to end up showing. Okay, so now let's get into writing up our proof. Now the whole goal in the proof is to show that this statement is true. That's all we need to do, because if we can show that this statement is true, well, that's precisely what it means for this to be true. Okay, now in proving this, we're trying to prove a statement about every positive real number. So give me an arbitrary positive real number. I'll call it epsilon. And with this arbitrary epsilon greater than zero, we want to show that this is true, right? We want to find a positive integer k, which satisfies for all positive integers n greater than or equal to k, absolute value of 1 over n minus 0 is less than epsilon. How are we going to obtain this positive integer k? Well, in our scratch work, we said that we were going to apply lemma 1. So let's apply lemma 1. Now, in applying lemma 1, we're going to take x to be epsilon, right? We can do that because epsilon is a positive real number. So taking x to be epsilon, we have that there exists a positive integer m such that 1 over m is less than epsilon. And I'll call that positive integer k. Now remember, our whole goal is to find a positive integer which satisfies this statement. Well. Our claim is that if we take k here to be the k we have in our proof, that k will satisfy this statement. So yeah, let's take k to be the k we have in our proof and proceed to prove this statement. Now, we're trying to prove a statement about all positive integers greater than or equal to k. So give me an arbitrary positive integer greater than or equal to k. I'll call it n. With n, we want to show that the absolute value of 1 over n minus 0 is less than epsilon. And we're essentially just going to be doing exactly what we did in our scratch work. So let's show that this is true. 
and I'm gonna start out by writing the left-hand side. Now, let's work through this carefully. We know that n is a positive integer, and since n is positive, of course, one over n is also positive. One over n minus zero is positive, so the absolute value of a positive number means we can get rid of the absolute values. So this entire thing is just equal to one over n minus zero, which is of course equal to one over n. But then, since n is greater than or equal to k, and n and k are both positive, we know that we're allowed to take the reciprocal of both sides, and all that's gonna do is flip around the inequality. And we get that one over n is less than or equal to one over k. However, we wrote right here that one over k is less than epsilon. So what this tells us is that this is less than epsilon, exactly what we wanted to show. So now let's put this together. We see that under the assumption n is greater than or equal to k, it follows that the absolute value of 1 over n minus 0 is less than epsilon. Since n was arbitrary, this means we have shown for all positive integers n greater than or equal to k, this is true. So we have found a positive integer k such that this is true. Namely, if we take k to be the k we have in our proof, then this is true. So we have shown that this is true. And now, putting this all together, we see that under the assumption epsilon is greater than zero, it follows that this is true. Since epsilon was an arbitrary positive real number, this means we have shown for all epsilon greater than zero, this is true. So we have proven this entire statement, which means we have shown that this is true. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.